My name is Yonu Frederick Aga. Well, uh, I came to see the Senate uh, Committee Chairman uh, to let him know that I have resumed in the new position as the Director General and Chief Negotiate, Trade Negotiator and uh, share with him some of the ideas I have, which is mainly to help Nigeria benefit from its participation in the international trading system and how we can use coherent, progressive trade po and investment policies to drive the economic growth of the country. Nigeria has many development challenges. First is the perspective of long-term planning because, you know, in the past we used to have development plans which benchmarked where we want to be. So we are hoping that in the new environment we'll create a national trade policy that at least have a five-year lifespan. We are hoping that uh, we can rebuild some of the institutional and regulatory frameworks that are required to make the economy run smoothly, to create a level playing field for Nigerian producers to make sure that consumers also get uh, quality products at fair prices. So trade is not just about the producers and export. It's also about those who earn their livelihood through the various supply chains and consumers who benefit from good quality goods to enhance their living. With the new man, Dr. Fred Aga, PhD, a seasoned ambassador who has gone around the whole world. Uh, I know Nigeria will benefit a lot from the world trade value chain. And uh, formerly we were afraid because of the new headquarters of the AU of African trade, uh, free trade uh, agreement zone that we don't have anybody there. Now that he has resumed, as a seasoned man, Nigeria will be better off. We are, formerly we were such changed, and they thought they could make our uh, country a dumping ground since we were not participating very well with, these, with his ideas and his good economy base and ambassadorial level Nigeria should be rest assured that we are going to be better off in international trade. Automatically, he has told us his own problems. One, they don't have a permanent office. They don't have enough trained officers. And he has told us that he's going to enlarge the whole thing so that at least it will get to the zones and later the states so that we will be getting fillers from all the exporters, quality exporters, and it's going to train most of the exporters on how to produce quality goods for foreign markets, instead of rejecting us the way they were rejecting our goods before. And uh, we believe, with God on our side, in the next few years, Nigeria will take its position, number one position in the trade of the whole world. Well, I've already advised him on what to do, and as sooner or later he will meet the leadership of the Senate after our resumption, and uh, we will put us together and advise him on the way forward. Now that we want a lot of foreign exchange to flow in freely to Nigeria, not through individual export, individual pockets. So Nigeria will be better off if we harness all our resources and the export, our export and trade is going through a normal channel, official channel. Nigeria will never, in the next few years, Nigeria will not borrow money from abroad again since we have enough resources to trade with officially. That's my advice to you. Okay, sir. What are your expectations from the National Assembly, especially the committee? I think very fundamental are the kinds of uh, laws that need to be put in place to provide 
a trade enabling environment. And uh, you know, uh, we need uh, some laws on bankruptcy, some laws on how to protect the economy from imports, imports injury. Uh, I think we are also looking at some institutional frameworks which will put in place, take, take for instance the Nigerian Industrial Revolution Plan. If you put it into a law, it provides certainty to a foreign investor that there's going to be a permanent environment under which he will operate. We also need to domesticate some of the FTAs that Nigeria may have signed to make sure that uh, the rights and obligations of the country and its partners are enshrined in our domestic law. So all these are things that I think uh, we would need the support of the legislature and the committee in particular. Chairman, sir, what do you want to add differently from this? Uh, well, automatically, I've told you, okay. domestication of all these uh, external trade laws must be in place. Mm -hmm. And uh, even the act that established them, we have to be put in place. Okay. And now that it's going to it has resumed, all the enabling laws to promote Nigerian trade all over the world. It has to bring it. We give it to the National Assembly leadership. They will go into it. And uh, sooner or later, we pass it. And the president, who is ready to promote Nigeria internationally by trade, and who will want to get, out, get us out of this uh, economic problem, will sign. So I've already promised him that as soon as possible, let him go back to, uh, into his office, put it together with his minister. Let them bring all those bees that we allow us, and we debate on it. We pass it so that Nigeria can move forward. So that's, and apart from that, it will need fund. By the next budget, automatically, the Senate we have to uh, come to its aid because with promoting, we be promoting promote external trade. Mm. You will see a lot of foreign reserve, foreign foreign um, fund coming in, and with the way the federal government has taken this uh, security situation uh, into account, and with the Senate that is ready to back Mr. P uh, Mr. President on how to maintain permanent security in Nigeria so that the Nigeria can move forward. Uh, the Senate is ready. And you know, we have been battling that for the past one month. And with God on our side, the security system will come to normal the way we are going now. So that the, the products are what we want about Nigeria external trade, trade with all the countries of the world, what we expect in the change. So, you are welcome. Thank you. Yeah.